Hi guys, welcome back to a new tutorial of SLAM Toolbox. In this video, we are going to see how to do the map using a SLAM Toolbox kit. So, this is a mapping approach. Uh, we will use the G mapping, the multiple mapping approaches like G mapping, hectare mapping tools, which is available on ROS1. But in this uh, SLAM Toolbox, which is used in ROS2. So, then uh, for most video, we saw how to make a uh, mapping using a cartographer with OpenSea Grid, how we launch the nodes and the things using a launch file. So in this video we are going to see how to make an uh, SLAM toolbox mapping approach in OpenSea method from the scratch uh, with uh, a launch file configuration thing. So I will give the things uh, which I use in my uh, Visual Studio editor for doing the map in a SLAM toolbox will be in uh, my GitHub and I will share the GitHub resource with you. So from this, uh, you need to use uh, input the OS thing for the reading and writing the things and the launch configuration for the giving the launch description to your file and then uh, this is the argument and the functions which you need to import for your essential things. So next, uh, we are giving the functional statement for launching the sim integration, which is a value is a default one is a true. So first, I am. Uh, launch configuration and then the launch configuration for the slam parameters so first one for the simulation and next for the slam package and then i already mentioned that declaration of the argument for the simulation integration is true the default value is true then a uh, description for the thing is a gazebo uh, the parameters which is shared between the slam toolbox and the gazebo will be default values are true so then uh, we are declaring the slam parameter file so the default value of those is also true then uh, we are making the starting the slam toolbox node by uh, giving that the package which we need to install the apt package the debian package thing the slam toolbox thing will be available on the opt directory so we are uh, giving the argument to launch from that so the executable is in localization slam underscore toolbox underscore node this is a package and the name of the package is slam toolbox the output is a screen now so the launching argument is argued and the output will be visualized in the things so the, the simulation part is a true default value then then what we need to do means here you can find out that sudo sudo apt install ros humble slam toolbox so this is a package uh, we need to install on our system so copy this and paste on the terminal so give the password thing after installing this uh, you need to launch your uh, simulation part now so i am launching the gazebo simulation now so after launching the gazebo simulation, we will once crash check with the terminal use case. Go to the terminal and type ROS2 or topic list. So, this command will list what are the nodes which is running on our system will be available. So, next is we need to launch the uh, slam thing. So, the slam the slam underscore toolkit underscore map dot launch dot pi so this is a node uh, which will launch the slam the slam toolbox thing so type ros2 launch slam slam toolbox toolkit underscore map dot launch dot pi so this will launch the slam toolbox map what's the problem screen so now we launch the slam, slam toolkit right so for finding that uh, we need to use the iqt graph to visualize the things which is uh, running on our system so type iqt and then you can visualize here the triple board underscore scanner is publishing a scan topic which is a publisher and subscribe with a toolbox so the for mapping we need a scan data right so the scan is already subscribed with a tool slam underscore toolbox 
with a map. So the map is receiving the scan data and doing the map approach. So now, now, now we need to open uh, IQD thing. RB sorry, always RB two. So now you can choose these places like map, fix a frame, and then go to the add. You go scroll down. You can find out the TF to transformation coordination frame. So this is a TF of the turtle board. So we close the IQD and then launch the tele operation thing. Find out uh, robot is working or not, the TF transformation is working or not. So after launching this, uh, go to the RBS. So then find out the wheels are rotating in correct position so the next uh, we need to enable go to the ad we need to enable the map thing go to my topics and go to the map and then you can see the output the map is available now so map is creating by the slam tool box so uh, go to the terminal and move the robot do the map and then using a map server thing we will save the map in the two type .yaml .pgm file format so the, the thing uh, we using a slam toolbox and we are doing the map now so the package which is available on the opt directory we are giving the argument uh, to launch the uh, node or uh, the package which is available on the opt directory this is already pre-built one so we are giving the argument to create a map so that's a point free space in white color and uh, abstract space on black so this is our occupancy grid thing so after this uh, you may understand how the mapping approaches work so first uh, we'll add uh, some obstacles uh, near to the robot now space in a white color so this is a part so after this uh, you may understand the slam toolkit working process uh, next uh, we'll see the navigation stack how we can use a behavior tree and the behavior server thing the obstacle server thing how to use those parameters to make the navigation to move the robot from a to b location so that's a task of the final thing and after understanding that uh, we'll build the robot using a jetson nano uh, with the humble version of ROS to integrating some sensors with a robot like the LiDAR IMU sensors and we make the robot to move from A to B location by autonomously. So thank you. Please subscribe the channel.